Hey, Shrimmeronians, what's good, fam? You're probably wondering why I'm holding a mono tub. This mono tub, I'm experimenting with corn spawn, and um, it's become a victim to cobweb mold. So I'm gonna take it out of here, extract it. Before I extract it, I'm gonna spray some hydrogen peroxide on it, and I'm gonna convert it into my outdoor mystery tub, my outdoor active mystery tub, and uh, I'm gonna let it do its thing. As you can see, we almost made it, but you can see the cobweb mold right there. And now I see why people use smaller, smaller containers when they use corn, because the smaller the container, the less time it takes for everything to spawn and inoculate and uh, colonize. So I'm learning, it's a learning lesson, but I'm gonna spray these parts and I should just extract them out of here. I'll probably just extract them out and then spray and then convert it into my mystery tub, which is right here. You guys have seen the mystery tub. First, I'm gonna spray the, the sides. It won't unalive the mycelium, but it will unalive any uh, mold or pests. I picked out as much as I can, but you know, even though you can't see it, it's still there. So we're gonna transport this to here. Spray it. Spray it, spray it, spray it. Mm, and the smell in this container when you open it up smells so amazing. Look at that. I'll keep you updated. Mushrooms have already grown from this substrate. So I already know that it's nice and rich and full of nutrients. However, it has been adjusted to the outdoors. This, however, has not, but I'm sure it'll sustain. We'll see.